Om Shanti. Today is your 111th day of your meditative blessing. And in today's blessing, God gives us the secrets of becoming more powerful and how to make our mind think lesser day by day. But for that, I need to know the whole secret for which I do the 7-day course at Brahma Kumaris. I get to know about my past births. What was I? Was I an engineer? Was I a lawyer? Was I a Brahmin? Was I a Christian? Was I a Muslim? Was I a Hindu? Was I a doctor? Was I an armed forces person? What was I in my previous birth? Was I a king? Was I a pandit? Or a, or a person who was a saintly being? What was I in my previous birth? And that can be known when we meditate, when we get to know about our previous life story and the life story of the whole world. So let's explore how that can help us out today in making our mind more peaceful and stronger with the secret of nothing new. So God says, may you finish all force of obstacles by becoming powerful with churning power. To churn what? When we churn milk, it turns into butter. Butter gives energy and strength to the body. But this butter is created out of the knowledge which has been defined or has been metaphorically been related to milk. You must have seen that we pour over milk over the shivalingam. Milk is white in color, is a symbol of pure knowledge. White stands for purity. So that's a sign of the incorporeal father, the one who doesn't have hands and legs. Because the shivalingam is also known as the jyotirlingam. Jyoti means light, lingam means symbol. So God is a symbol of light as has been mentioned in every religion. May it be the fire God, maybe it may it be God is light as we have Christianity, Jesus Christ. Maybe may it be Allah in Noor, Noor Allahi means God is light, Noor means light. So it could be anything, but we say that God is light, He is an extension of divine knowledge, the secrets of my and your previous birth. So let's see what God does God want us to do by churning this knowledge. So God says, becoming powerful with churning power and thereby be free from all attractions. It's the attractions which give us suffering in this world. So Baba says at present, what is the present time going on? We know that this is Kali Yuga where there's so many attractions, so many delusions and illusions and people are attracted to so many worldly things that they have even taken their mind away from the truth or they have started seeking not God but worldly attractions and worldly desires. And that's the reason for all the suffering in the world today. That's the reason for relationships breaking up because you move on from one to another relationship and that makes you sadder. And not just a relationship with a person, but relationship with your business, relationship with your family, relationship with your job and many more things. Nobody is settling down for any one thing and the mind is never settled. So God says at present, this is the present time, there is war, there is war everywhere in the world. You see there is a war with COVID also. Now at present there is a need for you souls to fill yourself with all powers. First power should be that I am able to immediately in a second stop my thoughts which are going towards negativity, going towards greed or jealousy or anything. I should have the power to stop my thoughts because thinking, overthinking about my past mistakes or my past or your past different desires which you couldn't attain, you could go into sadness and at the end into depression. So God says it's important for you to put a full stop but for this I need to know about my past births. I need to know who I was. Imagine if somebody told you that you were a king in your past birth or that you were from a very rich family, from a very rich business family and then you are going to again become that in the coming births. So would you be worried about your present right now? Would you be getting jealous with somebody who's rich? Would you be somebody who will be distracted or who will be hating someone who's richer? Would you be distracted or hating somebody who's maybe much more good looking than you? If God told you that in your previous birth you had a very beautiful body, you were a divine being, you were a divine person, you had a beautiful body and most importantly you were a beautiful soul. And during those times everybody used to love each other on a soul basis. There was nothing as such as greed or jealousy. There was no impurity in human mind. If you were at that time and God is going to make you again enter that time in the coming future. So what would you feel right now when you look around at the world today? Would you be feeling jealous? Would you be feeling greedy? Would you be feeling disheartened by your present state? No. But for that you need to think deeply and churn the knowledge 
in meditation we get to know about our previous birth we get to know what our powers were how powerful souls we were so anybody who is more powerful in this present world when you get to know about the birth and rebirth cycle of many souls how somebody is getting so popular today and why am i not popular today then your true popularity will be in getting in touch with the truth and not by becoming popular in the eyes of the world there's much more to it that you can understand only once you do the seven day course but let's go ahead let's understand what baba says baba says for this be introverted and churn every point so that the butter means the essence can be extracted and you can become powerful so what if god told you about the three aspects of time god told you about your future god told you about what is going to happen in the future if he told you when is this kali going to end what is the next disease going to come is there going to be a third world war is going is there going to be a religious war amongst human beings if all that was told you is there going to be a new world a beautiful world which is going to come and when are we going to go into liberation if all those details were given to you and if you churn that knowledge every single day think about it you know the present what you have to do you know what happened in the past why it happened and how you need to eradicate all your past mistakes through meditation and if you got to know that in the future is going to be very bright and beautiful how will your state of mind be imagine that and that's the secret which we get to in brahma kumaris so we churn that knowledge and make a mind stable and we become more brighter day by day brighter in our thoughts so baba says such powerful souls experience super sensuous joy because they know nothing new in brahma kumaris we already knew god had told us that something like this will come there will be certain diseases which will take over the world and at that time only meditation and yoga physical yoga and this meditation means raja yoga will help you to be safe and secure but if something happens to you you know it very well you never die because you are an immortal soul you just leave a body so what will you be afraid of you won't be scared of anything in your life then because of having this knowledge so god says there are such souls powerful souls experience super sensuous joy beyond the senses because they don't have any attraction towards the world because they know what are they getting ready for in the future what is the future going to bring to them and how they have to be prepared will there be a time when it will be very hard to get water to drink will there be a time when it will be very hard to get food to drink so attractions toward things and people and food and money and clothes all these things don't attract those souls even though they have everything with them they might not have they might have everything with them but still they are not about i want this and i want that and that's the power which we attain through meditation at brahma kumaris we can not kill our desires but minimalistic living will bring down our desires to a certain level where we are not attracted by them we are happy in every state so god says the powerful stage of such souls the powerful stage of spirituality that is created through this their stage of being absorbed is able to finish the force of obstacles what obstacles come in our life baba says they are not attracted by anything temporary if you're not attracted by anything temporary that means you're looking in the long term so automatically you feel powerful and you feel spiritual and through that stage of yours any obstacle which comes in front of you you're able to overcome it be it greed be it jealousy be it comparison competition it doesn't affect you at all and you're able to overcome all those things because your desire is to get connected with god and not to things around you because you know the future you know what you did in the past and you know how to cleanse your karmas right now so think about this take the seven day course and understand your own life story your previous birth story and you'll realize what's going to happen in the future and your mind will automatically become stable not just through meditation but by meditating on those futuristic thoughts and present and forgetting the past putting a full stop to it i leave you with this have a blessed day stay blessed om shanti Thank you.